Hey guys, how's it going? It's Beat on here. Welcome back to another Throne in Liberty tutorial video. Now this video is going to focus on Mystic Keys, and if you've clicked on this video, you're probably where I was not too long ago thinking, what the heck do I do with these things? So anyways guys, these Mystic Keys can be bought from the Contract Coin Merchant, not to be mistaken for the guy that actually gives you the contracts. You want to go to the guy that sells you like the bait, the rods, and all that stuff. So anyways, you can buy up to five keys per day, and when you have these five keys in your inventory, these little Mystic Portals will open up throughout the map. Now as you can see in my mini map, there's this like little circular icon you guys will see it. It'll almost look like the planet Saturn, and that's telling you that there is a mystic portal in that location. Now, sometimes they're very, very tricky to find. They like to hide them throughout the game. Sometimes they're up on top of mountains, or sometimes they're buried beneath a house just like this. Now, when you have these keys, they will appear. You just literally go up to them, and you press square, and it gives you some rare materials and abyssal contract tokens that you can use in the game. Now, the reason why you want to do this daily is because every time you open up a mystic portal, you have a chance to open up an even bigger uh, mystic portal, which will give you an even greater chance to get armor, weapons, and, and all that stuff. So it's a great cheap way. It's a bit of a grind, but it is a cheaper way to find um, those purple items, and it is fun. So as you can see here, I come to another portal in... Uh, the shipwrecked here and it's just right under the wreck in the corner here now once i open up this one you'll see a um kind of like a message appear that says a mystic portal has appeared somewhere throughout the world and when you look at your map you're going to see that there is like this icon that almost looks like a tornado so what you're going to want to do is you want to go over to that area and this is telling you that the big mystic portal is in that location. Now it's not going to pop up the same way the others did on the map unless you are really, really close to it. So this area is almost like just trial and error and you just got to hunt for it. Now don't be rushed. You do have an hour to look for this. So if you're not finding it right away, don't panic. Um, it's not like you got like, you know, 10 or 15 minutes to do it or even a minute. You got 60 minutes um, and you just got to be really careful. So as you see here, when I get a little closer to it, you see that there's a little icon that popped up under where my icon is. You might not be able to see it, but it did pop up and it had a little arrow below telling me that the mystic portal is below here so i climbed the mountain i thought maybe it would be here because again they do like to put these things in hard to reach places and when you do unlock the bigger portal it's in even harder spaces okay so eventually i just decided okay there has to be something like an entrance to get me into a mountain or a cave and so i just come around the side here and I find an opening to the left, and of course, my mystic portal is there. So as you see here, I'm just coming over to this area, trying to get over these rocks, and there it is. So this is what it looks like. It looks identical to the mystic portals that you've seen throughout the, the video, but this one is bigger, and again, it offers a higher chance in order to get some better gear so as you can see here i rip out not only some more abyssal contract tokens but then i also get the platinum fishing rod which is going to make fishing a heck of a lot easier so anyways guys if this video helped please like always leave a like subscribe to the channel for more and i will see you soon take care